to thank my wife for uh, supporting me and letting me continue my passion for this game uh, around the state and country, no matter how old our boys were or are. Uh, to my teammates, both past and present, uh, for without them, I would not be able to stand here tonight. And uh, lastly, I want to thank my one true coach, who I uh, think about often and still to this day, Jerry Ernster. Uh, it is an honor to uh, stand up here in front of my fellow inductees, and I offer my congratulations to them and the recognitions of their achievements. It is also humbling to be now be mentioned in the same breath with some of the association's greatest to ever play this game. Wayne Hathaway, Burridge Anger, Jim Lindquist, Sam Lanto, Tom Corbin, Chuck Pashaw, Carl Fitek. The list, I could stand up here for another hour and, and talk about that talent. Uh, I would travel to CBAs as a junior bowler and watch and try and learn something, read about their accomplishments, and uh, I hope that one day I could earn the respect and once I joined their ranks. And I believe tonight's ceremony is answering that question for me. I remember being 13 years old and going to Saxon Lanes, yes, I know it's a St. Paul Center, <laughs> uh, to watch the straightaway league. That's what they called them back in the day. Uh, and I would ask Mr. Corbett if I could keep score for his team. He always said yes, and he and his teammates never made me feel as if I was being uh, an annoying little kid. They would joke around with me a little bit, all the while still cheering each other on. I believe this is where my passion for team bowling started, and for that time, I say thank you. Now, I, I know some of you might believe that uh, to be honored into a Hall of Fame should be based on individual accomplishments. Uh, and I'm sure most of you may have read my uh, biography and realized that all of my association titles, Minneapolis, St. Paul, and State, are all in the team event. Well, I shared the following little tidbit of advice about six years ago with a young Matt McNeil. Some of you may have heard of him. <laughs> this was after our team was in, uh, in the uh, cocktail lounge celebrating our then record uh, St. Paul, uh, Paul City team event score. And uh, I, I said to him, I said, Matt, I, I, I think I would much rather succeed by throwing a strike and win a team title than win any individual title. And he looked at me kind of confused. And he's like, well, why is that? And I said, because I would rather celebrate a win with nine of my closest friends than with just myself. And because of that belief, I can say with certainty that no one gets here alone. I thank the Minneapolis Association 